It's a big day because I got these for free today. Welcome to the best smelling channel on YouTube. This is James from J Royal and I want to discuss these two fragrances by a very famous fragrance maker, YouTuber personality. These are Office for Men and Date for Men by Jeremy Fragrance. He has the company now, Fragrance One, and I got these fragrances for free, which is cool. I don't want to brag or anything. But he didn't send them to me. I went to my friend Chad's house to film some videos and he gifted these to me. The plan is I'm gonna go back in time, receive these bottles from Chad, give you my live first impression, or at least my second impression of Office for Men, and tell you guys what I think, get his input, and then get my fiance's input when I come home and show them to her. What kind of man wears Office for Men? What kind of man wears Date for Men? And are they any good? Hello, Chad. What's going on, James? Not much. I just uh, stumbled into your uh, your house. Creeper. So today I came to chill with Chad, film some videos, and um, he gave me some free gifts. I gave him the incentive to come over. I had to bribe James in order to come over, so. And guess what? It worked. We got two fragrances by Jeremy Fragrance. Office for men and date for men. So I wonder where you would wear these fragrances. Backstory, you guys probably remember I have done videos on Office for Men because I was given a sample by Chad. And I believe that was the first formulation of Office it for was, Men, yeah? It was, it was. Okay, cool. So Jeremy's been giving out uh, fragrances to a bunch of creators. He didn't reach out to James. He did not. Just yet, <laughs> so I thought, you know, I was, wasn't sure, so I said to James, did he reach out to you? He says no. I'm like, listen, I, I got two, two extras. Do you think me not getting fragrances by Jeremy was a bit of shade? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give my live first impression. I just took the plastic off, and I have smelled off some rim, obviously, before. But this is like the second or third one now. This is like the third version, so it's the black rounded bottle, um, complete with a cap as well. Office for Men version 3.0. That's pretty strong. The sprays were fantastic. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, Ooh, actually. I smell that from here, man. Some, 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 some alcohol that I didn't remember. But I guess it's because of the sprayer, because the little dinky sprayers are not too strong. So this is a lot more <laughs> fluid. Yeah, it smells like I remembered. It's, uh, it has a little more of um, a bitter citrus feel that I didn't remember before. Yeah, it smells like Office for Men. Great. That's cool, not too exciting. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really buy into the reformulation hype, personally. Can I just point out um, a bit of a font difference with the two bottles? Look at that, date is a bit more bold. Does that mean it's more of a bold fragrance? I like fonts. So two sprays. You're only gonna need one. You only need one for this one. Yeah. <laughs> Told ya. Okay. Oh yeah, so sweet, fun, night out, woo! Not necessarily what I would picture myself wearing on a first date. Yeah, same here. Um, maybe if I was quite a bit younger and I wanted to be like, hey, look at me, smell yeah. me, I, but. I agree with you on that one. It's not quite subtle. Fun night out for men, but that wouldn't have a nice ring to it. Because dating fragrances, I feel, can go both ways, where it's like you want to be either really, really noticed, like wear a super loud pink suit, or you want to be a little more subtle, just like a nice a nice shirt and draw them in, you know? You gotta yeah. draw them in. It smells good though, it smells nice. Uh, I'm curious to see what my fiance has to and say about it. congratulations on that, by the way. Thank you very much, yeah. I got a little engagement ring too. <laughs> what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go home. Let these dry down a bit on my palms, or my reverse palms. Then Leslie's gonna tell me what she thinks. She has smelled Office for Men before, she really liked it. So let's see if she still likes it compared to this one. Thanks, Chad. Thanks for coming over. My pleasure, buddy. Crazy transition. Ooh. Hey, transition over. I'm home. It's actually been a couple hours. And I told you guys I had a special someone visiting me or staying with me. She's gonna be in this video, so come on in, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, and she, she's actually standing straight up right now. So. Okay, let me let me tilt the camera down a bit and let's fix this. I'm gonna have to do a bit of a squat, so we're both gonna be same height. 
<laughs> so in this little segment, Leslie, I have two fragrances on my hands. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. And they both are used for very, I'm gonna like bust my knee, right? Oh, Just stand on my toes. Oh, maybe. Leslie's gonna be on point for this whole video. Kudos to her. Your ballet training has come in handy. So I'm gonna show you two fragrances. You tell me what you think, and then I'll ask you some questions about them. Mm -hmm. Okay? So fragrance number one. That's manly. Manly, okay. Yeah, very, very manly. So it's it's for a man. Yes. It's for a man. I should do it in like a slight German accent. Right, what kinds of men? <laughs> I can't do it. Where would this man smell like this? Where could you see him? What kind of environment? Um, That's kind of, I would say like everyday man. Just a, a nice man. A nice going man. Going out for the day. Going out for the day. So like a, doing... just a casual errands yeah. man? Yeah, okay. I would say like a younger man. On a scale from one to 10, what would you rate this fragrance based on like, Appeal. How does it? I, that's like a, an eight. An eight. Yeah. Perhaps a different man. Mm -hmm. Over here. That's fancy man. What? What's fancy about this man? He's like going out to like a nice bar for a drink. <laughs> that's my girl. A fiance. Uh... I would, I would say they're both younger man fragrances though. I would say the nice one, the, like the fancy man, maybe like 50 max. On a scale from one to 10, what, what, is, what does fancy man get? I don't like it as much. So okay. I'd say like a six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah, it's not. So we're almost kind of middle of the road. Yeah. These two fragrances, mm -hmm. as you might've figured out because you knew I was gonna go see Chad. These fragrances are by Jeremy Fragrance. Mm -hmm. And your everyday man is office for men. It's a fragrance. Oh that I showed you before okay. and you really liked yeah. and you literally nice. and you really yeah. liked today and then the other one is date for man which is the date fragrance for a fancy sure. fancy guy going out right yeah. now just just so you know cuz I have my own opinion on this whole thing right mm -hmm. i think you nailed it when you said going out to the bar fragrance not necessarily a date no cuz a date can be more formal you don't want to be as much of a kind of guy, you could be like, hey, how's it going? Go for dinner, just sit down. If I took you out on a date with this, if I like came in closer, would you be like, that's very date-like? No. Sorry, Jeremy. No. To me, it kind of smells like Ultramol, which I sold. Yes, it's a little more animalic. It has some other stuff going on, but it has more of a stank now. I think they're both good so far, first impression. Leslie. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. This one is definitely nice. The original, it just, yeah. I'm just gonna leave the frame and then I'll let you close the video. Leslie? No! Okay, never mind. That's a bad idea. Okay, I think I can eat my words because um, <laughs> I got a package today. <laughs> Jeremy sent me some fragrances. Um, he sent me four, <laughs> which is quite nice, even before I put out this video. So I kind of feel like I don't need to put it out anymore because he ended up giving them to me. Oh well, <laughs> thank you, Jeremy, thank you. If you wanna watch uh, another video on Office for Men Fragrance One with Leslie and I, it's right here. And uh, click on it, because it's a good video. And it's not fake, it's all real.